Remember, the Chris Duff the Insulter Show is an adult content show. If you choose to come here with your children, I don't care. Pimps and killers have to come from somewhere. <laughs> Where's Sean? Stand up, Sean. There he is. He's in the white t-shirt and the necklace. A round of applause for Sean, please. Sean, I don't want to, just get your hand out of your pants while I'm talking to you, Sean. It's a goddamn shame anyway. Who are you to choke your only friend? That's right, you heard me. You think Palm Sunday is the one day God approves of your sex life. You're not even listening to me. You're using the time that I'm talking to you to think of what fence you can leap behind when I'm done bothering you. So you, can, you can be alone and have yet another menage a moi. Oh, you filthy little masturbator. I see why you wear a white shirt. I'm sorry that someone stole from your chain the metal that used to hang there saying number one wanker in South Florida. You know, just because you can dribble five times a day doesn't mean you should. You're really, you're a menace. You ought to be cocked and grouted. You're just lucky your most frequent lover is barren, sterile, can bear no fruit. Otherwise, I know you could not afford to support all the ugly little hand babies following you around. <laughs> Sean, I hear you're my father and I'm so hungry. <laughs> if you don't respect your friends and you don't respect yourself, you might at least respect your poor mother. It's not fair, Sean. Ask me what's not fair. <laughs> It's not fair, she's got to shamble into your basement apartment bedroom every afternoon and wash out of her bedsheets what might have been her grandchildren had she produced a reasonably attractive offspring instead of you, you poor, knock-kneed, swivel-hipped, pigeon-necked little girl. Give him a round of applause. 30 on Alicia, can you handle it? Where's Alicia? She is stand up, Alicia. Please, where's Alicia? Alicia. Are you a single girl or married? Okay, you don't know. You should be a nun. Aren't you tired of your wanton promiscuity? We all are. All right, if you've slept with Alicia and didn't like it that much, go ahead and raise your hand. Don't be shy. All right. Aren't you tired of the mayor shouting you down? Oi, oi, dismount that toad-faced whore from off the maypole. They never saw such a display. My God, you could open a bowling alley in your vagina. You wouldn't even need shoes. This would be a triple E. No, you should be a nun. You're not going to find any comfort or relief in secular travel. She tried that. She went to Italy. Ask me, what happened? What happened? An organ grinder's monkey. Isn't, isn't it funny how that's funny without a verb? <laughs> An organ grinder's monkey escaped from the organ grinder and ran up Alicia's dress, screamed at what it saw there, ah! and ran out the other side, shooting as fast as it could. Now, the organ grinder saw the monkey go up the dress, but didn't see the monkey escape, so he came back down from Alicia's dress a moment later, shivering and crying. He grabbed a table leg to use as a weapon. And he said, ask me what he said. What he I'm looking for the bastard who skinned my poor little Jojo. Yes, uh, where'd that guy go? Yes, I just called her twat, a skinned monkey, I did. <laughs> she went to Italy. Ask me what else happened. What else happened? Leonardo da Vinci, you've heard of him, yes? Yes. Painter, yes? Yes. Sculptor, yes? Yes. Inventor? Yes. Yes. He invented a war mirror using Alicia. Ask me, how's it work? How's it work? Suppose you are the Duke of Milan. You are defending a walled city against an army laying siege. Everyone say, Grr. Grr. You stand her up at the top of the highest parapet of your walled city, wearing a dress and no skinny. You put a mirror right about here. <laughs> and 
you shine another mirror off that one, reflecting the image down of the enemy army as if to suggest that whatever happened to that hairy Sicilian son of a bitch is going to happen to you then if they don't leave immediately. <laughs> They split him right in two. <laughs> you should be a nun. Now this next one's gonna be really kind of blasphemous. If you don't mind that, say I. I. You should be a nun. And when I say you should be a nun, I mean you should be a bride of Christ. You've heard nuns referred to as brides of Christ before. If so, say I. I. When I say you should be a nun, I mean you should be a bride of Christ. Ask me why. Why? Because what man that was not nailed down would stay married to you? <laughs> Give her a round of applause. <laughs> to a 40, can you handle it? Yeah! Where's Ryan? Ryan! Yeah! Oh, oh, and he's wearing a shirt that says, I fart in your general direction. <laughs> Oh, well, let's give homage to the masters. I mean, look who's, look who's coming, trying to goad us into profitless combat wearing 30-year-old armor. I'm glad you came here to pay for some fresh... Get your hand out of your goddamn pocket! What is this, a, a pan... It's a handemic? Um, here we go. But now, Ryan, for 40 bucks, please clap for this boy. Ryan is 21 years old. Ryan, do you know why women don't like you? No, why? Because you're stupid. <laughs> women hate to hear a stupid man talk. You're not grotesquely ugly or anything, but my God, whenever you talk, you make women, oh, you dry women out. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you start flapping your gums, a woman's cooch closes faster than a clam on a barbecue. <laughs> you can almost hear it happen. No! Most men come with their woman with a bottle of wine and some flowers or concert tickets, but not him. Ask me what's he got. What's he got? Chainmail glove and an oyster shucking tool. <laughs> oh my God, women hate you. 21 years old. I'm not old enough to realize. Let me see. I'm 30. I'm almost. I'm gonna turn 39 next Friday. So 20. I'm not. Thanks. I'm not really, really old enough to be your dad, but I could be your fun uncle. <laughs> Would you like some uncle advice? Absolutely. Good. If you get a woman to go to dinner with you, shut up. <laughs> Don't talk. Don't, and if you forget and talk, when you ask for the check, also ask for a turkey baster full of water so you can unstick the nice lady from where she dried to the booth. <laughs> Boys like you are why women wear underwear. <laughs> Absolutely true. And other men hate it when we're talking to a woman at the bar and a boy like you comes up and starts talking to the same woman. Not because we're afraid you're taking her anywhere. We just don't want you paying one of your, one of your famous suicide cock blocks. You know what I'm talking about. One of those, if I'm not getting laid, nobody's getting laid. <laughs> Man, you know what I'm talking about. You got a woman you're talking to at the bar. Things are going well. You've been there for half an hour or so. She's beginning to mess around with her hair a little bit, her breathing changes, she swivels around to face you. She makes sure if she reaches for something, she brushes your arm just a little bit and then giggles about it. I know you've never seen this shit, boy. I'm describing it for you. <laughs> Things are going great. You know, you, got, you, get, you know you got her so damp and moist down there, she could grow prize-winning hothouse flowers in her panties. I mean, African violet, gardenia, passion flower. Then up comes some tangle tongued dildo like Ryan. Hello! Hello! And it's like a biblical sandstorm hits in her crotch. <laughs> a tent flapper right out of the book of Exodus. <laughs> Don't leave your hand down. There. Don't ever admit you're his girlfriend again. <laughs> Don't do that. The last thing, if you're actually sleeping with that person, the last thing you had left on God's green earth was your anonymity. You should have held on to it. <laughs> Women run away from him bow-legged. Ask me why. <laughs> they don't want to start a friction fire. Oh my god, and if you want to know why a woman really hates to hear a stupid man talk, ask me why. Why? Because, boy, she knows good and doing well. If you can't maneuver your tongue around decently in your own head, you can't do it anyplace else either. <laughs> Give him a round of applause.
The Christoph the Insulter Show. More fun than shaking babies was before the nanny cam.